Phil Goye, thank you so much for joining us My this pleasure. morning. We got to get right into this because I, I, everyone's talking about this. Let's, let's recap a little bit, though. What are the main charges that uh, Mike Duffy is facing? I mean, there are a lot of them, we should say. Yeah, well, I mean, he's facing 31 charges, and they're all, they're all you know, related to fraud or, or bribery. And essentially, they break down into four broad categories. Um, <clears throat> One of those categories is, is related to uh, the, the, his living expenses and whether, whether he was living in Ottawa or living in PEI at the yeah. time. The other one is about, is about contracts that he handed out. There's also his expenses that may have been dubious, dubious and, and unrelated to his Senate work. And finally, there's the, the very key one, the $90,000 payment he received from Nigel Wright, the, the um, Prime Minister's former Chief of Staff. Yes, that, che that check, a lot of people have questions. About yeah, that and that's the one, the most serious charge is bribery related to that. And that's, and that's the one where, I mean, the maximum uh, penalty for bribery is 14 years in prison. So it's not, I mean, it's, it's a very, very serious charge. Yeah, oftentimes people will think, oh, you know, he's being charged with a bunch of things, but nothing will stick, and then maybe he'll do... There are small sentences involved. I mean, this 14 years is... Is, is major. Is I mean, he's looking huge. at a very, very serious criminal prosecution yeah. right now. Let's talk about him, though. Let's talk about what we know about him. He's He seems... I mean, you were just telling me during the break that he's even given himself a, a nickname, the Duffster. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, does, is he taking any the, of this yeah. stuff seriously? Uh, yeah. I mean, I, he's absolutely taking it seriously. I mean, we saw it, we saw it last year, late last year, when he when he gave that speech in the Senate, uh, defending himself and, and saying he'd been railroaded, and, uh, and, that, and that if he were to face criminal charges, uh, he would go after the Prime Minister and the Prime Minister's office very, very hard, and the Conservative Party very, very hard. So he's absolutely taking it seriously, and this is a, I mean, he's a man with, with a, a gigantic ego, uh, you know, by all accounts. Uh, so it's, the, the, this is not, this is not the way, uh, it's fair to say, this is not the way he saw his career kind of No, because this, this is a former journalist, and you're, you're, one of your theories is that people are, that he, they're going after him this hard because he should have known better. I mean, is that a little bit about what, why this, he's sort of become the poster Yeah, child I think, this? I think that's fair. I think it's partly that he, that he should have known better, and also partly that he, that he was, you know, in the last few years, uh, there were many accounts of, of, of him being kind of a crass partisan about things. Uh, his campaign for a Senate seat was, was I mean, a widely known thing, and it, he wasn't even sort of private about yeah. asking prime ministers to sit in the Senate. So, I, I mean, there's, there's something kind of uh, distasteful about the whole thing, and I think that, that's, that's feeding the, the, the frenzy around, uh, around Mike Duffy. Yeah, let's talk about also the fact that he's saying that he is going to go after... Uh, the government. He's going to go after Harper. What yeah. what what may be revealed here? Obviously, we talked about this ninety one thousand dollar check, which already w raises so many eyebrows. What what are these possible revelations? What do you think may come out? Well, I mean, it's it's it's, it's impossible to know. You know, the, the obviously the, the specifics of w of what might come out or what hasn't been released yet. But the, but if you look at the basic kind of structure of it, is that you had a half dozen people, extremely senior party officials. Uh, uh, extremely senior government officials, right? The chief of staff of the prime minister. Prop, I mean, without a doubt, the most powerful person in, in Ottawa, not named Stephen Harper. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and then extremely senior uh, uh, Senate officials and, and senators, all being involved in trying to whitewash Mike Duffy's expenses. Why so many people, why a half dozen of some of the most powerful people in the city uh, uh, would be involved in, in making sure that Mike Duffy doesn't have bad expenses on his account. Uh, I mean, it, 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 lo it, it looks like the t basically it looks like the tip of the iceberg is what you're trying to say. So. Well, yeah, well, maybe I mean, we'll yeah. see. I mean, and that's that's how Mike Duffy is making it out. So if we take him at his word, uh, and you it know. is. <laughs> yeah. All right, Phil Goyer, thank you so much. Of course, from Actualité, you can of course buy it everywhere. You can also get it on your next issue. We will see you very soon. Yes. And